So once you have your cell phone speaker smoothed out on the inside, the next step is going to be cutting the hole or the space for the cell phone and then also adding some kind of feet or some designs to it or something like that. Most of the time you don't want it just sitting like this because the sound will just project out and most of the time we are up a little bit like sitting or standing when we're listening to the music so you're going to have to come up with a way to make it this way. The other thing you want to think about is a hole in the back for your charging cord. So I have some templates of how big different cell phones are, okay, and you'll want to think about that whenever you're cutting your space. So you want it close to the back so you can get the most boom, and whatever kind of cell phone you have, you just kind of take it and roll it around there. Then you have to, so you can see what it looks like there, I'm going to have to take and cut this. You've got a variety of tools at your disposal that you can use to cut. So it's up to you. And you want to cut it a little larger than what is there because keep in mind that the clay shrinks a little bit. So I recommend just scribing in the area first and if you have a case on your phone you want to think about that and then when you go to cut this you want to make sure that you cut it straight down in so I'm going to take this and hold it up here and see if it would cut through and it won't you have to make it just a little bit bigger. This is rounded, so the cut has to be larger because you have to take into account the roundedness. Okay, once you get it scribed in there, you can use a loop tool or the butter knife, whatever you think would work the best, and you can start to take out that area there. I'm going to take it out with a loop tool because it makes a pretty clean cut. those pieces there we can take and make slip out of. Once you get it cut through, you're just going to have to clean that area up. You don't want to have any sharp edges like this here because you could cut yourself on that once it's fired. It'll be back to a solid state. And you also want to check the inside too to make sure that it's smoothed out. So before I get too crazy with the smoothing of this, I'm going to check it with the template. And it just barely fits. So remember the clay shrinks, so I might want to take a little bit more off each side just to be safe. Depending on where your speakers are at on your phone, you might be able to put it in there like at an angle and still have the same effect. I've seen them that way too but I think that straight down is the best and it works kind of as a, a holder also. Test it again. There you go. So once that's done you can smooth this out. You can take a sponge, smooth it out on the inside, get those pieces out of the inside there. Uh, and then the next thing is you need some type of a foot to have the <coughs> piece come up a little bit more, okay? Oh, and a hole for your charger. So on the back, what you're gonna wanna do, um, and it depends on the size of your phone, 
uh, how big a hole you want, what the charger is like. Um, but you want to put some kind of a hole, maybe at the bottom even, for your cell phone charger. Okay, so you just kind of draw a space. They're usually not too big. You need too big of a hole. It's not like your phone will fall out. Then once you have it cut out, you just have to kind of clean it up some. Get it nice and even. And also on the inside. Okay, so for the foot, For the foot, this is going to be the bottom down here. This is going to be the top where I cut the slit at. So you could roll balls of clay. Um, you could put feet here on the back and then something up front. It's up to you uh, what you decide to do. <clears throat> but you want to have something that's going to pick this up a little bit so that it, you know, faces up towards you while you're working. You could turn it into a little creature. There's, there's lots of things that you could do. Uh, I'm just going to take it. I'm going to roll two round spheres of clay. I'm going to flip this over. You want about roughly about the same size. So to do that, I'm going to take a piece of clay, squish it back and forth in my hands. Then I kind of roll out, form the shape. Whenever you go to roll the coil like this, you want to do it on the table, not necessarily on the canvas. You know, something like this is going to be a little thicker. You're going to have to maybe let it sit up a little bit and become leather hard before you can put it on there. So then what I'm going to do is, wherever I'm going to put these at, I'm going to score and slip them on. So this is the bottom of the pot, it's where I have the hole cut. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to match them up, line them up, kind of put a little mark here for where I want to score and slip at. So I'm scratching to attach. I'll flip it this way so you can see. And I'm scoring in the shape of the object that I'm attaching for the feet. And I take my slip and apply it. I'm going to score and slip these feet. Now since these are thicker, we're also going to have to hollow them out after we get them attached and once they're leather hard. So with hollowing them out, all you have to do is you just take a loop tool and you make them so they're not solid, so that there's some negative space on the inside of them. And just press this down and press this foot down. And then the 
next thing I'm going to do is flip this over to see how it stands up. And if I'm happy with how it stands, then I'm done. But if I think I have more work to do, then you can fix it and you know get it to stand however you want to stand. Okay? Mine stands a little bit like that. Um, if I was making a creature, I might like that. If I don't, I could do something else. I'm also going to put some feet on the back here to lift it up a little bit. Okay? When you're done, put your name and class ID and set it over on the counter.